Once you've installed Quizdom on your computer, either via CD or via the internet, you click on the Quizdom Action Point shortcut on your desktop. This will then open a PowerPoint presentation. On the PowerPoint presentation, you will now have an add-in on the toolbar at the top. You then get an option on the left-hand side to insert a slide, which will be your question slide. You get a range of different question types, from multiple choice, true or false, yes or no, through to text input and numeric questions. Each of the question types might also have further choices. For example, multiple choice, you can do two, three, four, five or six choices. For example, if I want to do a multiple choice question with four choices, I would click insert slide, multiple choice with four choices. This sets up a new slide. On this slide, where it says make your selection, you need to put in your question. The question I would use for an example is what is my favourite colour car? Just below this, you will then enter your four choices. My four choices are going to be different colours, so blue, green, yellow and red. You then need to tell Quizdom which of those is the correct answer. Go to the toolbar at the top, pick the question type, multiple choice. The type is a four answer, but at the moment the answer is reading as none. My favourite colour car is a blue car, so I need to go to the answer and change it to the option A. You have the option to give the question a points value and to set a timer. Both of these can be left blank because you can set a generic points value or a generic time per slide at the end of the presentation. If I wanted to insert a different type of slide, for example a true or false question, I'd go through a similar process. With this one you get an option to insert your statement. Do I like blue cars? You need to tell Quizdom what the answer is, so go to the toolbar at the top. I want to make the answer true, so on the drop-down list I will pick T. And this time I'm going to leave it as one point with the timer on the question. I'm going to start to set up this PowerPoint to be used in a lesson. In order to do this I have to start the PowerPoint using the Quizdom action point symbol on the left-hand side next to where it says Insert Slide. It is really important to remember that you do not start the PowerPoint using the usual slideshow method. When you have selected the Quizdom Action Point symbol, you get a Presentation Setup option list. There are numerous different options. You can choose whether to have a participant list, such as the list of students you will be using. You can set it so it will be anonymous or a self-forming list. You also get options of where you would like to save the results. You do not have to save the results, but this might be useful if you'd like to give them to your learners after the presentation. There are also numerous different presentation methods that can be used. You can run it as a normal PowerPoint presentation, or you can also use an option of games. For example, the game Fast Track gives each remote its own car, allowing you to see the track of how you're progressing through the questions. You can also get the options to send right or wrong feedback to the remotes after answering. It's up to you if you decide to have this ticked or not. It's best to untick it because as soon as the students know whether they've submitted the right or wrong answer, they tend to tell the other students the correct answer. You can also set it to allow the participants to change their answer. Depending on how long you've got to do the presentation, it's probably easier to leave this so they do not change their answer. This is where you can also set a global points value for the questions and you can also decide whether you want a timer for your slides. You can have no timer, use the times you've put in your slides or have a global time value of approximately 30 seconds per question. The main other options you need to consider are on the chart tab. You need to ensure you click automatically show correct answer on chart. This means when the correct answer comes up it will be highlighted in green so the learners know which one is correct. Before you press OK, you need to ensure that the USB is in the computer. This acts as the receiver for the Quizdom remotes. 
Once this is in and flashing green, you can press OK. As long as the receiver is in and the handsets are on, you're ready to go. You now have your first question slide. Students will then select A, B, C or D on their handset and press send. As the students send their answers, the percentage bar will change in the top left corner. Now, 100% of the students have submitted an answer. As an instructor, you can then put the answers up on the screen using the grey handset. From this, you can see that one student got the answer correct, one incorrect. And you can continue to your next slide. After you've finished your last slide, when you move forward using the grey handset, the PowerPoint automatically closes down.